This week's word of the week is going to be certified, as in a certified welder. You've heard people uh, say before that they're certified. I have people all the time come to me and tell me that they're a certified welder, and I always ask them, uh, what are you certified to? And most of the time, people have no idea what they're actually certified to. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over uh, different codes that you can be certified to, uh, positions, thicknesses, all this stuff right here that you should know if you're a certified welder. And then what we'll do is we'll go in my office and I, we do primarily the AWS codes and I'll show you how many codes that or code books there are just for the AWS. So let's start right here at the top. The first thing if you're certified you want to know is what code you're certified to. There's a ton of codes. There's this misconception in the welding world that uh, people think that you get certified and you're just certified in everything. It doesn't exist that, it doesn't work that way and it doesn't exist. I mean, you're looking at two code books right here Look at the difference in the thickness of these. And there's a ton of different codes. There's ASME, API, there's uh, AWS, what I was just talking about. Um, so you need to know what code you're certified to. If you're certified in an AWS code, ASME is totally different. So you can't transfer that certification from one governing body to the next. So if you go to school or whatever and you get certified in a 6G AWS pipe, it means nothing if you are going by ASME wherever you go. That's why when you go to school, it's very hard to get certified in something that you're actually going to use once you go out into the field. Um, next is material. If you get certified on steel and you go out and weld stainless, it's useless. Uh, so you want to know what material, what code. Um, that's a structural steel welding code right there. Um, so it would be a steel um, material. Uh, the code would be structural steel. Um, plate versus pipe. Um, if you're certified in plate, you can't weld pipe. It just doesn't work that way. Um, there are pipe certs that you can do, and then it will pre-qualify you for plate. So you want to know, if you've certified in pipe, you want to know that you've certified in pipe. So you know the difference between pipe and plate as far as your certifications go. Um, thickness. What are the thickness, uh, thicknesses that you're allowed to weld? There's going to be a range, typically. Um, whatever you test on is going to give you some kind of range of thickness that you're actually certified in. Uh, thickness can go with plate or the thickness of a pipe um, wall. Uh, diameter, that's just for pipe. So there's a, a range of diameters that you're allowed to do based on what you took your certification on. And then positions, like I said earlier, 6G pipe supersedes all the pipe positions and all the plate positions. So if you took a 6G uh, pipe test, it gives you all the positions for a certain thickness certain diameter so you need to know all that stuff if you did it with backing you have to do a groove joint with backing if you certified in backing so you can't have an open root application if you were certified in backing so you want to know if you've done backing and last the dates are you still certified if you don't if you don't weld within six months you lose your certs typically it goes by six month periods uh, usually they're supposed to have a, a 30 days Right before you get to six months, 30 days before, you're supposed to be notified if you haven't welded in those positions. That way you can weld in it and keep your certs. So you want to know the dates of your certification as well. So all of these things are what make you certified. Um, you need to know what all of these mean. If you tell somebody you're a certified welder and you don't know what this stuff is, that's not good. You're going to look a little foolish. So, um, Certified is the word of the week this week. What we're going to do now is go into uh, my office and I'll show you how many code books I have just from the AWS to do certifications with, just to give you an idea of how many different codes there are. There's tons of them. So we'll go look at that and then we'll wrap this up. This is uh, one row of binders on one bookshelf. And you can see how many different codes are in that one binder. So what we'll do is we'll scroll out here. Whoops, wrong way. That's one shelf of nothing but AWS codes. And you can see how many different books are in each one of those binders. So it's a huge amount of codes that you can be certified to. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what certified really means. Thanks for watching subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next week.